doing Owl House Crafts because last week Tyler came to me and said, can I make hoodie for my door from Owl House? And Sam said, I want to make a witch's staff separately from each other. And I was like, oh, well, if we're doing two Owl house crafts, we may as well do three. So this is the first one. This is Samantha's. What you making? I'm making a magical staff. So what did you make it out of? I made it out of a stick my dad found for me and some plants. So the first thing I did was I sculpted a moon and a ball. And then I painted the moon black. It's not going to be black in the end. Yeah, it's just a base color. Yeah. So the Owl House is something that I found on the internet and thought it was cool because the main character is bisexual and cool. Mm -hmm. And so human. And human. Owl House is a Disney TV series that is about a girl, Luce, who gets accidentally transported into another dimension mm -hmm. where there are witches and demons, and she's learning magic and hanging out with Ida, the rebel witch, and King! King, the little adorable demon. Little, I don't know, what is he? He's like a little wolf. He's a Pokemon! He's very, he's very cuddly. Yeah, he is very Pokemon. Yeah. He's kind of like a What's the one with the skull head? Cubone. He's like a Cubone meets a baby wolf. <laughs> and then my mom wrapped some twine. Yep. He wrapped some twine. And you then I painted a, it. You had a very specific vision. Mm -hmm. And you wanted the color shifting purple. So this is folk art color shifting purple. And then we were doing some final shots. And you designed some monsters to... Cat attack you in the forest so that you could test out your new magic staff. We did a whole quest for you to get your magic staff to just to earn the stick in the first place. And you had to do all kinds of things. You had to find a griffin feather and you had to battle a Gorgon. Gorgon and you had to put out a fire that a dragon had set. And I had to give a vaccine to a monster that I forgot the name of. It was the manticore Manticore. Yeah. yeah, the manticore was sick and you had to give it a vaccine. The two purple ones near the beginning were abominations from the actual show. It's true, they were. This one is me. I am going to do a paper craft of the lockers from the show. So I'm in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to draw a locker base. And I'm basically just copying exactly the ones from the show here. I love all the doors in the show, especially the door to detention. That one's my favorite, the way it like opens. A lot of the doors have the big mouths and the door to detention has a giant mouth. And then the lockers have the tongues that kind of lift out your books and hand them to you. So I drew a tongue and I'm drawing some books to go on the tongue. This was super fun. It's such a cool style for this show, the, all the monsters and everything. There's a lot of variety and even kind of a variety in styles. Like some of them are very cartoony and some of them kind of are a little bit more like Monty Python. It's interesting the variety that they have. And then I had everybody draw the inside of their locker. So this is Ty's locker. She drew some books and she drew drew a little duck friend. And then I drew like a little fidget cube because I like fidget cubes. Yep, and a backpack. Yeah. Sam drew books in her locker, some spell books in her locker. And, and I... they're floating because they're magical. Yep. And then I have, mine has books and some pictures taped to the back. There's a picture of Terry the tortoise and there's actually a picture of a sock monkey in there. <laughs> Boy, this was the most fun part, cutting out all these teeth. So much fun. So I have two papers that I printed. I printed them on cardstock, and there's the locker background that gets these slits and get the eyes cut out and has the locker interiors drawn on them. And then that one gets the tongue, so it gets a side slit. And then there's the other page that I printed had the eyes and the teeth, and they slide open. So there's the top one that has the closed eye and the teeth, and then when you slide it up, you get the open eye, and the mouth opens and I taped another long piece a strip of paper across it to hold them down so that they were flat 
and then I taped another one to it so that I could open them all at once for the last reveal, which you wouldn't have to do if you were just <laughs> doing it for fun. You wouldn't have to do that, but trying to come up with a way to film it for the reveal just seemed like the best way. And I stole some of Ida's graffiti and stuck it on the last locker because I loved that. I thought it was really well designed. Ida rules and bump eat stink. <laughs> <laughs> so, so silly. And hoot. And hoot. Yep, for the owl lady. So that's open with the open eye. And then here comes the tongue. Uh. <laughs> Would you like to get your books off of a tongue in the morning? <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. And then here's mine. I'm making hootie. So interesting to me that you wanted a hootie on your door. Hi. Oh, it's just because he's such an interesting character. <laughs> he's intentionally annoying, you know? But he's also defends the house, so he's pretty awesome to have around. So this is a paint can lid, a one gallon paint can lid. So it's metal, it'll survive in the oven. And then you used some aluminum foil to bulk it up. And now you're smoothing a layer of clay over the top of it. You're using a big ball stylus to smooth it and then rolling it with the side of one of the other carving tools. The rolling really works well for polymer clay. Polymer clay is not easy to smooth out. You had to add little chunks to all the divots and stuff. It probably would have been easier to smooth out the aluminum foil a little bit more. Now we know. I think it turned out so cute. Now we're adding little divots where the eyes go. These eyes were one inch cabochons. We had leftover cabochons from when I made the dragon puppet for Shrek. And now I'm making the beak, which is two like little pointy things meshed together and stuck on there. Yeah, I think you did such a good job with the beak. It turned out really perfect. You should have made it open. Sounds like it's me. Well, he's mostly got it closed. He's only got it open when he's talking and stuff, so. And then you scratched up the two surfaces that we're gonna connect, which is good for clay. For polymer clay, you can also use bacon bond or a polymer clay adhesive, like a bakeable adhesive. And now you're mixing the colors. So he's been baked. He also got sanded. And also I drilled holes in his eyes. So there's a big hole that's big enough for the head of a screw that goes through the clay and the aluminum foil but not through the paint can lid. And then there's little holes through the paint can lid for the threads of the screw so that we can use the paint can lid to screw it to your door later. And then the cabochons will get glued on top. This was so smart that you laid it upside down on top of the that so that you could trace the highlights. That was super smart. I didn't know you did that. It was a good idea. What are you doing now? Just painting on the background, which is brown. <laughs> I didn't want to do black because I wanted it to be more like the actual show where his eyes are brown, mm -hmm. so. Chocolatey. It's like dark chocolate. Oh, and also the entire time while painting it, I realized that he's not exactly brown, but he's like really orange and yellow. Yeah, he's got a lot of orange and yellow in him. When you were mixing the paint, you had to use a lot of orange and yellow. Yeah. And just like touching up. You did a beautiful job of matching the colors, I must say. He looks fantastic. Use Posca pen for the black outlines. And Tyler got to drill him to her door. So we used some drywall screws and just screwed him in. And then hot glued on the cabochons. You just have to make sure your highlights are in the right places. And now he's gonna fend off any attackers that come to your door. Do you feel safe? <laughs> I feel so safe. I'm just really excited that yours doesn't talk. <laughs> 